हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू कैट प्रैक्टिस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ बॉयलर टैंक इन ऑटोडेस्क इन एंटर सॉफ्टवेयर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टुडेस ट्यूटोरियल गो टू न्यू टेक अ स्टैंडर्ड पार्ट इन मिलीमीटर एंड गो टू क्रिएट नाउ टेक द टूडी स्केच एंड सेलेक्ट एक्स वाई प्लेन नाउ गो टू लाइन कमांड एंड सेलेक्ट लाइन From here, make this line as construction geometry and draw line. Okay. Skip. Now switch off this construction geometry. Go to dimensions. Give this a dimension of twenty five hundred. Okay. And from this point to this, this will be twenty five hundred by. So this will be the midpoint. Now go to line command once again. Make a line over here of fifteen hundred. Okay. Skip. Now go to dimensions. From this point to center point, this will be seven fifty. And the height from this base will be five hundred. Okay. Now you can see this line is moving upwards. So go to coincident. Select this line. Select this point. Okay. Now sketch is fully constrained. Now from here, select ellipse and start center point of ellipse from here and end point. Here. Okay. Similarly, center point will lie here, and the end point will lie here. Okay. Now go to dimension. The dimension of the ellipse will be two fifty. Similarly, this also two fifty. This is the half dimension. The total will be five hundred. Now to make it constrained, go to vertical constraint. Select this point and select center point of ellipse. Similarly, select this end point and select center point. Okay. Now go to trim command. Trim the lower side, this all also, and inner sides. Okay. Now we want to make a thick profile. So go to offset. Select this. From here, you can select loop selection and give a thickness of 10 mm. Okay. Go to line command and join these endpoints. Just to this. Okay. And here also this endpoint. Okay. Now this is the final sketch. Now finish sketch. Okay, and go to revolve command. This profile is selected. For axis, select this center point, center line. Revolve, and okay. Now, as you know, the this profile should be hollow from inside. The thickness ten mm. You can see from here. Go to view. from here take half section view origin xy plane and okay <coughs> now you can see here a thickness of 10 mm sheet a thickness of 10 mm and a hollow profile inside okay now from here end section view now we will make the inlet this so for this first we will make a new plane go to home from here take offset from plane and we will select the top plane the exit plane and take a distance of 600 mm okay go to front you can see here the 
offset and ok now select this plane go to create sketch from here select center point circle and make a circle of dia 125 mm ok and finish now go to extrude command and from here select to next it will be extruded up to this surface and ok now again select this face go to create sketch and make a circle from this center point of dia 100 m <coughs> now finish sketch and go to extrude and here this time we will take cut and drag it inside and ok you can see here top view a hollow profile or two first we will hide this right click turn off the visibility to see the view properly go to view again from here select half section and select xy plane now you can see the hollow profile and exit now we will make this bottom stand for this go to 3d model go to plane and take the offset from plane this time we will select yz plane and take an offset of 380 and construct a new plane ok now at this plane go to plane go to create sketch ok now go to circle command change the view go to view visual style change it to wireframe from this center point make one circle of dia 1000 and from same center point make a circle of dia 1010 mm ok a 10 mm thickness ok now go to sketch and go to line command make a taper line here skip go to line once again and one line here skip and we will make one line here at middle skip select this line and make it a construction geometry ok now go to dimension select both these lines the angle between them will be 3 135 mm escape and to make them equal we will go to symmetrical constraint select this line select this line and select this center line ok now go to trim command we don't need this upper profile and this profile this for 5 ok and escape now select this line make it construction select this line make it construction you only want this edge here so go to line command from here to here join this similarly from here to here join this ok now finish sketch now go to extrude command here we will take symmetric extrude and the distance of extrude will be 200 mm and ok go to view go to visual style and select shaded with edges so this will be the view
this is the new profile which we have made at bottom okay now we will make this legs for this go to 3d model go to plane select off offset from plane this time select this plane and offset 50 mm and ok now select the new plane the plane 3 you can see from here also plane 3 we have selected and go to create sketch here we will make these legs so you can see you have to make these legs go to line command uh, from here make a straight line and here horizontal line ok and till here we will make now go to dimensions this height will be 300 and this height will be or horizontal distance will be 400 ok now change the view to wireframe ok now you can see it is going on inside so go to sketch go to coincident select this and select this line similarly select this center point and select this center point ok now this is fully constrained you can make an arc profile here go to arc from this point to this point and drag it here ok this is constraint sketch now go to mirror and mirror the profiles mirror this also uh, you can make this yellow profile as construction geometry now you can select properly go to mirror select this line select the small one so you can select whole file go to mirror line this will be the mirror line and apply done now finish sketch and go to extrude command select this and this and extrude it up to 10 mm and ok ok now come out from this view go to view visual style shade to the this now you can hide first one ok you can hide this plane plane 3 by right click turn off visibility we need this plane as this this is center plane for this profile go to 3d model go to mirror feature here we will select this feature to mirror and the mirror plane we will select this plane ok and ok now you can see the profile now rotate it and select this bottom face and go to create sketch ok now we will make the this base plate so we will make this base plate so go to rectangle command and make a random rectangle go to dimensions from here give it a dimension of 8 850 ok and this will be a dimension of 170 ok from here to here this will be 25 from here from this rectangle from this edge ok first drag it or you can give dimension here go to dimension 
from this edge of leg to this will be 25 okay finish sketch and go to export select this profile and select extrude outward this is going downside and here set join and ok this is also an extrude of 10 mm ok now this profile is complete now you can hide this plane also working plane 2 you can hide turn off the visibility now we want all these profiles this side also so go to mirror feature once again select this strap these legs and this bottom profile now go to mirror plane the plane here we will select the yz plane you can see the profile here and ok ok now you can assign it a color from here you can take Inventor mark library from here you can take color to I will take yellow. Okay, so this was a basic tutorial to how to make a boiler tank in Autodesk Inventor software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.